Hey everyone, so in today's video, we are answering the question, should you be your own registered agent? Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering this if you have an LLC, S Corp or C Corp, and it's time to actually renew your registered agent service. You might be thinking, should I save the money and just be my own registered agent? Or should I have an outside service and have them handle that for me? Well, this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know, and I'll give you my opinion on the subject, but of course, this decision is yours to make. So first, what is a registered agent, right? It's basically someone that's responsible for receiving any notices that your business receives. For example, if the Secretary of State is trying to reach your business, if anyone's trying to send you any compliance-related documents, or if you're actually getting a service of process SOP for any lawsuits that involve your business. Basically, the registered agent is ensuring that you, the business owner, is receiving all these legal notices in a timely manner. And I'll say that the registered agent, it can be a person or it can be a business. And most states require LLCs and corporations to have a registered agent. To satisfy the requirements of a registered agent, you need to have a physical address. So this is actually like a street address. PO boxes are not going to be considered valid for most states. And you need to have someone available during regular business hours to actually receive these documents. For your own state, it might be a little bit different. I just recommend check your own state's requirements and make sure that you can actually satisfy these requirements if you do want to be your own registered agent. So now, can you be your own registered agent? Of course, the answer is yes, you definitely can. And pretty much anyone can be a registered agent as long as they are in the state. And of course, they meet those requirements that we just talked about. However, most companies do choose to designate a separate individual or entity for being the registered agent. It's usually not the CEO, CFO, or anyone else involved in the business themselves. Now, just because you can be your own registered agent, does that mean you should? And my big take on this is no, you should not be. There are so many reasons for this and we're gonna cover those right now. First, your address becomes available on the public record and it can be searched by anyone. So literally anyone can find you know, your address if you are a registered agent. This brings up the concerns of home address privacy. So if you are operating your business from your house, then of course you don't want everyone to know, you know where you live. Another reason is because if you're not always at that address physically during business hours, that can actually bring up a lot of problems if they are actually trying to serve you. Mail might get lost in your mailbox depending on if you have you know, your own mailbox or if you're in an apartment building. And yeah, it's just a lot harder to track everything. It also takes a lot of mental brain space, you know, being on the lookout for legal documents. And yeah, I'm just scared that I might miss a piece of mail that I really need to have. And that can cause a lot of problems later on down the line. And I just want to emphasize again, you know, putting your address on the internet is not that smart. I don't recommend it. And yeah, I think most of you guys watching this video are deciding, do I want to be my own registered agent and just use my apartment or home address instead of hiring some other company to do this for me? Of course you can, but I don't think it's worth the risk. I don't think it's worth the minimal savings because registered agents, they are extremely affordable. And yeah, most of them should run between $100 to $300 per year. Also, the state has the power to shut down your LLC or corporation if they cannot reach the registered agent. So if you do choose to be your own registered agent and you're on vacation or you know something gets lost in the mail or whatever, then that can have really big consequences for your business. This can result in a default judgment with you knowing or even without you knowing, right? And that makes it so that you actually don't have the opportunity to defend your business. There can also be monetary penalties if your registered agent disobeys an order. So yeah, that's why most businesses, almost 100% of businesses out there are going to use a registered agent service. That's why I use a registered agent service myself. They help keep you in compliance. They help make sure that all your information is confidential. And of course, they actually will scan your documents and store a digital copy of all the business materials and any other business stuff that gets sent to your address. And you can easily access that all online. Also, if you're getting sued, you don't want that process to happen at your actual business or at your home. That can be pretty embarrassing and awkward. So this separates you from that possibility. And of course, like I said earlier, it offers a lot of flexibility. You don't have to be at that specific location during normal business hours. A lot of these registered agent services are typically located near courthouses and state capital buildings. So they can actually easily receive service of process during normal business hours. So yeah, my resounding answer for this is I don't think you should be your own registered agent unless money is very, very tight. But if you value your privacy, if you value your freedom, your flexibility, flexibility, as well as your compliance, I definitely recommend not being your own registered agent and just hiring a service to do that for you. Now, if economies of scale, this has become super, super affordable. And I actually recommend just using something like Northwest Registered Agent to be your registered agent. It costs $125 per year. The link is going to be down below. And yeah, if you want an actual guide where I show you how to set up your registered agent service through Northwest, then I'll link that video down below. But the link to Northwest is also going to be down below in the description. Highly, highly recommend them. They have been absolutely 
absolutely awesome working with them for the last few years. And yeah, they are present in all 50 states. So it doesn't matter which state your business is in, uh, they will be able to handle your registered agent service. Of course, still it's your own choice whether or not you want to be your own registered agent. But for most of you guys watching this, I'd say it's not worth the savings. It's not worth the headache and it's not worth the lack of privacy. With something like Northwest, they're going to actually scan all those documents and letters for you and you can actually access them online. And they're super, super reliable. They've never missed any mail in the last few years that I've used them. And yeah, that's basically why I think you should not be your own registered agent. Anyways, I hope this video answered that question for you. And if you found some value in the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials helping you to start up your business. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.